Hi, I'm Mike Snyder, and welcome to ATV Tech Files. In this tech file, I'll be talking about the best way to play your ATV symbol in order to achieve peak performance. We'll be comparing it to a Roland CY-15R and a Yamaha PCY-155. Both of them 15-inch symbols, ATV is a 16. First off, when playing the ATV, it doesn't matter where the logo is. It could be facing you, it could be off to the side, it could be all the way on the other side of the symbol, because the symbols can be played anywhere on the playing surface. You can even choke them anywhere. 360 degree plane, on the bow and the rim and choking 360 degrees. This is unlike the Roland. Which only has a playing area of a little less than half. And that's the same with the Yamaha too. That's one of the advantages of ATV symbols. All these symbols are two-way triggering symbols in this particular instance. I've assigned the same crash symbol to each of them and adjusted them so they have about the same output level. When playing the edge, you have to remember all these symbols rely on what we call a membrane switch. On the ATV, if you grab the symbol in about three quarters of an inch, you can feel a little bit of a ridge. That's where the switch is. That's very important. This, when activated, tells the module that it needs to play the sound assigned to the edge. That's the same with this CY-15 and the PCY-155. Very similar in design that way. But when playing them, you have to play them a little different. They each are a little bit different and want to see a little bit of a different angle. Now, if I play each one of them with the stick at a pretty sharp angle, and play very quietly. You'll see that even though I'm playing the edge of the cymbal, you're hearing the bow sound. That's because the switch wasn't activated. So you have to hit the cymbal with the proper angle in order to activate the switch and tell it to play the rim sound. On the PCY-155 and the ATV series cymbals, that's a pretty shallow angle about like this. If you find yourself hearing the bow sound when you play the edge, try shallowing out the angle. That's when you'll hear the edge sound because you now activated the switch. Another little tip, as I play louder, on the symbol, that angle is not as critical. The angle is most critical at soft volumes only. So remember, play with a shallow angle to activate the rim switch. And you can play anywhere on the symbol, 360. And there you have it, another tech file from ATV. Make sure you check out the A-Drums at atvcorporation.com and find us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.